So, geometry. What on earth is geometry? Geometry is basically to do with angles and how they work, really. So we've already seen a few things. We know that inside any quadrilateral, all the internal angles have to add up to 360 degrees. We know inside any triangle, all the angles must add up to 180 degrees. And there's lots of other things, like rules like this, we need to remember. So angles on a straight line. So if I've got a straight line like that, I'll put two angles on it. This angle plus this angle must also add up to 180 degrees. So this full angle here, basically, is 180 degrees, which we can see because if I carry on down here, I'd have 360 degrees of full circle. So that's something else we need to remember. Angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. Should help us to see what, let's say, the exterior angle of a triangle would be. We could therefore work out this angle, knowing that straight line is going to be 180 degrees. Obviously as well, if I had a load of angles like this, Each one of these, when I add them all together, must add up to 360 degrees. So I go round a point, say A plus B plus C plus D plus C. E. Must all add up to 360 degrees. Okay, we've got to remember as well with our triangles, we've got a different type of triangles. So we've got our isosceles triangle, where the two angles here are the same. We've just got to remember all these little bits and bobs. Okay? Now another thing we need to, to know in geometry is about parallel lines. So if I look at some parallel lines here, this line and this line, I'll denote that they're parallel by putting an arrow on each one. Okay, now if I've got another line that comes in and crosses these two parallel lines, because they're parallel, we're going to get some angles that end up being the same. We can get this angle, we'll call it A, it's going to be exactly the same as this angle, which we'll also call A, because they're parallel. This line is just a straight line, and these are two parallel lines crossing, so this is going to be A, and this is going to be A, which Let's be honest, this is gonna, this angle here then is gonna equal 180 minus A, which means so is this angle gonna equal 180 minus A. Okay? Now this angle, this plus this has also got to equal 180. So this is just gonna equal A. And then this plus this, this is also a straight line, so this is also gonna be 180. Minus A. And it's all, all going to be the same up here as well. If we just look at that again, if I've got my two lines, another line comes in and crosses them both. Just make sure we know they're parallel. And let's say I know this angle is 120 degrees. We can then tell all the other angles. This angle then hangs on a straight line, it must be 60. So this must be 120, this must be 60. Because they're parallel lines here, you know this must be 120, this must be 60, this must be 120, and this must be 60. So that's geometry. Now, all these things on their own are pretty dull and pretty boring. When they become a lot more interesting is when we get a nice juicy problem to solve with. So, we're told here that this angle is parallel, sorry, this line is parallel to this line, and this line with two dashes parallel to this line. Make sure you spot your parallel lines when you see this sort of picture. We're also told that this line is the same length as this line. And we denote two lines of the same length with these hashes. Now, if we had the same somewhere else, we'd do two hashes the same way we did the arrows for the parallel lines. Now, we're told that this is 25 degrees. And this 
is 30 degrees. Okay. We're also told that this here is 20 degrees. And from that, we need to work out all the other angles. Not as difficult as it sounds, you might not believe me quite right now, but it's not as difficult as it sounds. So, first off, we can work out these two angles here. Okay? Because we can see this is an isosceles triangle. So these two angles must be the same. If we know this is 30, we do 180 minus 30, which gives us 150. Okay? We divide that by 2. And we get 75 degrees. So both of these must be 75 degrees. Okay, so that's us getting started. Now, we also have two parallel lines here. Okay, parallel line here and parallel line here. And we've got this angle here, this total angle of 55 degrees. We also can see that that must be the same, if we remember our parallel lines from before. This angle here must be the same as this angle here. So where is that angle here? It's here. Got our parallel lines, got our one angle, and we've got our Z angle, as we call it. So this must be 55 degrees. Okay. okay, so we've got another set of parallel lines here. So let's draw those. We've got these parallel lines here. And we've got this line to cutting both of them. Okay. And we know what this full angle is. So we know this full angle here. Okay. We know this full angle here is 75 plus 55. So that is 130. So what is this full angle here going to be? Oh, sorry. So what is this angle here going to be? Don't need to worry about the full angle. What's this angle here going to be? Because this is cutting it. So if I extended this, I'd have that there as 130. Wouldn't I? So this angle in here has got to be 50 degrees. Okay? Which means we can work this angle out down here. So if this is 50 and this is 55, this must be 180 minus 50 and 55. Okay? So this must be, what's that, 105? So this must be 75. So this angle here will be 75 degrees. Okay? Coincidence. It's the same as that one. So. Coincidence the same as that one? No. Because again, we've got the parallel lines here. And we've got another line that's cutting the parallel lines. We've got Z angles again. So, we can now work out what this angle must be, because we've got 180, haven't we? So we've got 25 plus 30 plus 75, so that equals 130. And we can minus that from, we need to do 180 minus 130 again, which is going to give us another 50 degrees. Again, is that unexpected? No, it's not. We've got this parallel line, this line, which is parallel with this one, cutting the two parallel lines again. So once we've worked out this one, you can see that it must be the same as this one. Now we've got the final angle to work out. 50, 20, going to give us 70. So 50 plus 20, in this case, will give us our 70. So we need to do 180 minus 70 to work out that final angle, which is going to give us 110. And that's geometry. It's looking at a problem like this and spotting all the different things going on, all the different lines crossing over, trying to work out how it all fits together, 
how you can work out all those angles. And it's actually kind of fun, it's a bit of a puzzle. So uh, there's loads of those for you to practice. And then we'll look at some circle geometry, because circles have a very special geometry of their own.